guys today we are back with another video and the purpose of this video is to understand that how you can become a ml engineer in 2025 so i have been talking to a lot of students in the recent days because you know i have already told in the previous uh, video that you know i had a group a community of students where we talk about ai from a university and a lot of doubts uh, regarding the same came that you know what are the mistakes that commonly we can avoid right so these mistakes will be covered in this video so that you don't make these mistakes. And I already have made a video regarding that. What is a perfect resume you can make for the field of data science or ML and what things you can follow. So you guys can go and watch that video also. So let's get, get into the video. Now, the first thing is people starting learning LLMs directly. I don't have a problem with people learning LLMs. It's a pre pretty cool concept, the transformers and everything you study about encoder, decoder, these complex things. Uh, but the point is people don't understand the very basics and directly jump into the complex part, right? So first you need to make sure that you know the very basics and fundamentals of machine learning and deep learning. You know what exactly is back propagation. You know exactly what is the concept of loss function, how gradient descent works and everything. And post that you can start working on the actual neural network projects. And then you can decide whether you want to jump to NLP or computer vision, any one of them. And then you can work simultaneously on different projects and then you shift to, to RNNs, then LSTM and then LLMs. This is a whole line you go through, right? Directly jump, jumping into LLMs may excite you. You may even build some basic projects using Hugging Face tutorials. But believe me guys, when you go into an interview, they are going to ask you the very basics. If you're not able to tell them that it, it's no use, right? It's completely useless. So make sure you start from the basics. Don't directly jump to LLMs. Okay. Now studying the basics involve learning the basics of linear algebra, then learning machine learning and deep learning, as I already told you concepts of back propagation, degraded descent, right? Then learning frameworks and tool. So follow this uh, whole like path. Don't jump to the end goal. Okay. Now, second thing is people tending to ignore DSA. I have told multiple times in my videos, DSA is very, very, very important, right? Even if you are working for a data analyst role, like you are preparing for it, there's a high chance you will be asked about DSA. Okay. So don't ignore DSA. If you are thinking that, okay, I am working on core ML and mathematical part. I won't be asked DSA. No, it's not like that. DSA are actually useful for seeing that how good you are in problem solving. So don't ignore DSA at all. Okay. You know, learn as much as uh, concepts for DSA. You know, I won't say exactly learn, understand them. And I think you have really good channels on YouTube. You have take you forward. You have, you have, you know, channels where they explain the whole concepts of algorithms. So you can learn from there and then you can go to lead code. You can go to hacker rank. You can solve a bunch of problems. I would recommend at least solve 500 to 600 problems and, you know, participate in contests because contest will help you, you know, solve those problems in a specified amount of time, right? That is going to help you a lot. So don't do this mistake. Don't ignore DSM. Fourth point is PyTorch versus TensorFlow. This fight has been going for, I think, eternity now. I think at least from in previous two, three years, it has settled down a lot, but I still see university students confused on this. Guys, it's completely fine. You can take either of them. It won't affect much on your career because even if you go to a company that's using PyTorch, you will have to study it for maybe two, three weeks in detail. And then you will have most of the concepts on hand because you, if you have studied TensorFlow in detail, most of the mathematical and implementation part you already know. It's just how differently this framework works. And I would recommend go for any one of them. I don't have any personal opinion because I studied TensorFlow in my university life. But while, you know, being in yellow, I have been using PyTorch a lot. So it's completely fine. You can take either one of them. Don't fight and, you know, don't spend too much time on deciding which algorithm is best for me, like which framework is best for me. Don't spend too much time. Okay, cool. The last thing is people are not participating in hackathons nowadays. I see that, you know, in smart in hackathon, a lot of cool things are coming. Unfortunately, I'm not part of a university anymore because I graduated. But if I was, I would have participated in again in like every year in an SIH. I think I participated in the 2022 SIH and we were the runner ups in our field. And it was an amazing experience, right? Implementing ML directly into a agri tech product and seeing the results showing them to the government officials it's an awesome experience so go and participate in hackathons it will help you a lot you know the knowledge that you have the small projects that you build in ml are going to you know sound very small to you when you participate in hackathons and build 
big projects and you will have something good in your resume at last right if you win you will have something awesome and even if you don't win you will have so much experience you can tell that and you have a ready project in front of you right where you have collaborated in team someone worked on back end someone worked on front end and you have worked on so many things together and now finally you have a product so even if you are a data science guy data analyst guy anyone watching this video from the field of data science go and participate in hackathons and competitions it's very important now the last thing is stop thinking and start doing it you see this is a view from one of the best offices in mumbai and i think every one of us want this view right one day so make sure you work really hard because sometimes what happens is that we keep making road maps we keep making plans okay i will be doing this 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 for one whole month we have a plan but we don't usually implement it so stop thinking and start implementing that is going to help you guys a lot okay now that was it for the video i wanted to keep this video pretty uh, short because the time is running out and placement season is coming and we need to be prepared right so make your fundamentals and basic right have good projects participate in hackathons and competitions make good teams and at last you know practice 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 a lot okay so thank you for watching the video guys thank you and have a nice day